What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, happy as Larry Group. I hope you are well. And welcome to another daily dose of happiness. How is your day, afternoon, evening going for you? I hope you've had an amazing week. We are coming to the end of another week. And believe it or not, we are already halfway through the month, which is crazy. But it's unbelievable. Time waits for nobody, you know? So we've got to make sure that we're enjoying every single moment, every single second of our day and make sure that we're maximizing on it. <clears throat> but what I wanted to talk about today is uh, asking for help. Uh, I mentioned this before, I've talked about it before, but I wanted to, to talk about it again and, and the importance of asking for help. I have never been very good at asking for help and having just spoken to someone you know who who I really care about it's really interesting because you know asking for help was was a real tough thing for me because I've I always thought I could do everything on my on my own you know I'm I'm very inquisitive I'm very intelligent I'm very capable um, you know, I'm confident, you know, most of the time and, you know, and I know that I can, I can do things. I'm, I'm a quick learner. I love watching and learning all the time. And, and as, as life kind of progressed and with life circumstances as well, I was always put in a place where I've had to fend for myself. I've had to look after myself. I was left on my own a lot. You know, my family, I came from, you know, from nothing. So, you know, we had to grind. My family had to work very hard. So, you know, it's, that was always the, the, the lessons that I've learned and the things that I've experienced through life. So my circumstances taught me that, well, I can just do it by myself. And that's great because I'm very independent, as I said, very confident. And, you know, these things have really benefited me because, you know, when you're starting your own business or when you're, you know, trying to do things for yourself, this is great to have some of these tools and techniques, you know, in your in your toolbox. But where I fell down was when I really needed support and I really needed guidance and I didn't know what to do. I then started to realize that I wasn't asking people to guide me. I wasn't asking people to show me. I wasn't asking to be taught. You know, I was self-teaching and I was learning a lot of things by myself. But like with everything, you know, we all of a sudden hit a certain barrier. For me, especially where I want to go to the next level. I want to grow mentally, physically, spiritually. I want to continue on this journey all the time. So I had to... You know, and, and I do ask for help, don't get me wrong. There are certain things I just don't know what, how to do it. I don't know what to do. So I have to ask for, for help. I am definitely not a, uh, you know, a, a genius when it comes down to technology and, and you know, and, and other things. Um, I know my way around a lot of things, but like everybody else, you know, I, I do need to ask. But for the bigger things, the things that, you know, when it comes down to myself in particular, I wasn't asking for help. You know, I was suffering on my own or thinking that I could do these things by myself, particularly with what, with what I do. And I started to realize very quickly, thankfully, very quickly that hmm, I need to, to, to go and speak to someone about this. I, go, I need to go and speak to someone about some of the things that have come up for me. Because the journey that we go through in life, if you are to continue to learn, grow and develop every single day, week, month, years to come, you will find that you're always going to hit a barrier, a level barrier. CrossFit, when I do my training, I have a coach. My coach is phenomenal. He programs for me. He puts everything in. As some of you might know, I have a tear on my shoulder at the moment. Thankfully, it's not a complete tear. It's a one centimeter tear, but it stops me from lifting or doing anything uh, gymnastics wise on the bar, um, lifting and otherwise. So I have to work on my trunk and I have to work on my legs. And so he's programmed some great workouts for me to do exactly that. Because otherwise, I would be happily carrying on on the bar. I'd be doing push-ups. I'd be doing Olympic lifting. And the tear would just get worse and worse and worse. So having somebody there to help me to stay fit, motivated, to get stronger, 
I need somebody to do that for me. And that's what he's there for. Me as a coach working with my clients when it comes down to well-being or you know nutrition eventually. That's what people come to me for because they want help with that. They want to feel better. They want to look better. They want to get to that next level. So that's what I'm there for. So likewise, I have to go and ask for help when I'm going through. I'm only human. You know, I learn all of these things. I have all of these things on my board and I get through life and I motivate you every day. But I have to do these too. And the reason I like doing these videos, because that's me being honest. That's me being raw and real. That look, we all suffer. We all go through our tough times. We all have things that come up. And, and there is no shame. There is no embarrassment. There is no you know, guilt to be felt when you're asking somebody to for for help leave your ego outside the door leave your pride there is no there's no space for learning growing and developing if you want to become the best version of yourself you have to let go of your ego you have to let go of your pride and also let go of fear all of these things are combined when you start to live in that environment you start to then get consumed by that lifestyle the lifestyle of i can't i you know, it's not for me. It's impossible. Oh, no. Like all of these negative words that we constantly use. Oh, not again. Oh, another day. Oh, it's Monday. Oh, it, I've got to get up and go and do this job. Just see the difference. <laughs> it's so different. I hate doing it because that's just not how I live. But as you can see, my energy changed for me. Just giving you an example to all of a sudden just becoming myself again is I don't ever want to be that person anymore. So when I start to feel mm, something's niggling or, you know, if something's coming up for me emotionally, I will go and dig deep. I can't do it by myself. I have to go and ask a coach or a therapist to go and help me. I'm working with a therapist at the moment. And, and why not? I want to continue to grow. So the more I learn, the more I teach. So I wanted to share that with you, that there is no shame, no embarrassment, no ego, no pride when it comes down to asking for help. It is so important, whether it's personal, you, number one, if you are not functioning, if you are not in the best place you can be, forget about growing these huge businesses, forget about having the best relationships, forget about all of these dreams. Yes, of course, you're going to reach them. But like I've seen time and time again, you are going to feel and I have seen, you know, and worked in, in, with individuals where they felt suicidal. They felt like they just don't want to be here. They felt like, why am I doing all of this? Because once you achieve all of that, you're not actually finding, you're not looking at the root that needs to be looked at, that needs to be strengthened, that needs to be cared for. So asking for help has to start with you first, because when you take responsibility and accountability for you, when you start to make these changes, then everything else in your life, not only will you continue to succeed, you will continue to succeed on another level that I cannot explain. You will experience that yourself. I just got off the phone to someone which inspired me to do this video and to see this individual just grow. I said to him, Listen, it's so good to, to see you now. How you, It's good for you to see what I see. I have been given this gift where I immediately see the best version of you. And when I see that you're not that and I'm working with you, I will help you to see it. I will get you to that point until you look in the mirror and you go, I see what you see. And that just fills me with love. It fills me with, with just passion to to want to wanna help more and more people and to do this video to help you to go and ask for help if you're struggling don't be prideful you know don't be egotistical about it go and ask and i guarantee you the pain the discomfort that you're gonna go through once you get through that barrier it's like layers you kind of peel off the layers all of a sudden as you do it just gets clearer you gain more clarity and it becomes better and then all of a sudden you don't care about the grind you don't care about the pain you know that the end you will get to the end of that tunnel. You will get to the light at the end of that tunnel. And what it will do, it will just get brighter and brighter every time. So have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, be great, be fantastic and be absolutely phenomenal today. If you need help, ask for it. I'll speak to you again very soon. Take care.